Why is everyone in this town ridiculously drunk all the time? What the hell took you? Pretty likely Carradin lives in Novigrad, and he never severed ties with Hammond. They're actually in business together. Hmm. Learned something too. He trades in uh, live goods on the sly. Owns a ship called the Pearl of the Coast. Runs between here and Skellige. Changed his name too to Roland Truger, who officially is a respected Novigrad trader and philanthropist. Has a residence in Gildorf. Anything on Salise? Hmm. Well, didn't have you there to stand up for her. All right. Let's pay Carradine a visit. I think I know how to get in. I got a plan. If your plan doesn't include dealing with an escort of guardsmen, best revise it. Calm now. Let them start it. You're expected. Come in. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Interesting. They say he has spies everywhere. This kid again. I recognize you. Make yourselves at home. He's a witcher. Very true. Allow me to introduce my wife, Letitia, and my two little tots. You can't have kids. You know who I am, and I've heard of you. You've been asking many questions about me. That always draws my attention. What school do you come out of? That of the cat. So few of us left. I could understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop at dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. Remains to be seen. Witchers can't have children. But they can have wards, or take in a woman along with her children, embrace them as their own. My friend needs to talk to you. That's take the children and Letitia and leave us. Our guests wish to speak to me. I'm all ears. Talk to him, Geralt. If I do, first word he says to me, I'll lose it and throttle the fucker. Nice place you got. As it turned out, I have a flair for enterprise. Now I have coin enough to provide my family with the finer things in life. With some left over for philanthropy. Miss Marabella's Institute does not scorn small donations. Neither does the city's Widows and Orphans Relief Fund, amongst others. Your wife know who you were? We are thoroughly honest with one another, harbor no secrets. She prays for me each day. You know what? I think it's working. Fucking hell. Relax, Lambert. I confessed all just before we pledged to marry one another. Began a new life that day with a clean slate. Remember Aiden? A witcher. Murdered in Elander. Guessing the killers were paid well. I remember him as I remember all the others with the deepest regret. Yet Aiden was different in a way. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. What's your version of this story? Aiden had accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Duke's daughter. He took the coin, bungled the job, then left once the girl passed on. You lie. We were not to kill him. We were debt collectors. He'd spent the coin already, so we demanded his swords. When he refused, tempers flared. Vienne, positioned as a sniper, lost her nerve. 
hit Aiden square in the eye. Later, she devised her own version of the story to silence her guilt, I expect. I've heard enough. What now? <laughs> know what, Keridan? Your remorse. It's feigned. Completely dishonest. You put on a good show, but I just don't believe you. Don't even know why we bothered with this chat. We came here to kill you. Do what you want, Lambert. Your friend, your vengeance. Been waiting a long time for this. And I don't aim to die. Do I have to help? Yep. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Gary. You're welcome. Wanna talk about it? No. See you later. Someday. So long, Lambert. Where's the rest of that stuff? Yeah, a shit ton of good stuff. Yes. Kill him. I didn't believe. He sounded very awfully cocky. I didn't believe he was remorseful. Alright, next quest. I should really do this one. Apparently it's a main quest too. Alright. Novograd Dreaming. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Well, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic. And last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the park. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The truth is, we're already dependent on the black cobwebs. Cobwebs, cobwebs, pure sil- Ooh, I can turn those into- Little guys again. Ah! 
boobies. Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. Curse. The doll. The attic. Uh, All right. I... Time to check the attic. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. I don't think that thing was hurting her. I think that thing was actually helping her. Stop. Go away. Ooh. Leave it. More pure silver. Give me. Way to the next room's blocked. Don't worry about it, man. Let an almighty push fix that up. Almighty push. Items. So many keys. Strange stuff. A doll. Drawing shows it lying in a cradle. Maybe I should find one. That basement door? Unless I'm completely blind, I do not see one in here. Yeah. Probably in the basement. There's another door here. There it is. Ooh, more pure silver. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy, a riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Leave it! So creepy. Oven's in the basement. Got like a strong chill right now. Something's gotta jump out at me. I don't like it. I don't like it! Hey! What up? Oh my god! do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. 
I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how do you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and that's like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes. Yes. Yes! Do that, and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Man, that was a freaking so scary. What the fuck was that all about? The assassin boots. Iron ore. Please be better weapons, please be better weapons, please be better weapons. Steel sword. 50% critical damage bonus. Yeah! Take that. Yes, sir. Dang. Got some boots, didn't I? Ah, yeah. Looking good, looking good. Now my sword isn't, it actually fits in a scabbard. It's not ginormous. <laughs> Alright, now where's the exit? Keep dreaming, keep, keep dreaming. Wake up! Well, there's your lady. I'm a witcher, and there's a bed Isabel here. Sent me to see you. Gods, horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture, hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish, but in the dream, well, it was all too real, and not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I thought things were honestly going to get sexual there, but okay. <laughs> All right. Time to lie to Mr. Bunker. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Kareen. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Kareen dream of the building's past? Yeah. 
Pretty horrid, apparently. Who should refuse to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid. Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Well, definitely could probably... Oh, that's gross. I definitely could have double-crossed the godling. Got a couple contracts here. May have to do those contracts. Might do them all. Whoa! Look at that army of rats! Run with the rats! One second. Welcome! Welcome! What have you got there? Poor bastard. So long. I'm gonna have. To, I need to remove that thing first before I break it down. There is. You need something sharp. Need something dismantled. Remove upgrade. Cynthia's sword. Very close to level 13. I should actually dismantle the uh Next time I get a silver sword, I should dismantle it so I get a silver ingot. So long. Where are you at, lady? Stairs. Corinne, where are you at? A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Hmm. Ooh, these questions. These questions, though... I accepted a job once, did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. 
Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. I wonder if we... Uh, okay, we can go through everything. Nice. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. I told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have more to say. Then please do. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falco? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No when a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone... 
the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. Can I have? Take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. Oh wait, I could have got a... I think I could have got a scene here. I think there's a special scene with Triss and... the dreams can multiply show the past as well as the future the swallow it symbolizes Siri she contacted dandelion I didn't know he was in town the poet heard about him someone left in the rosemary and thyme in their will the rosemary and thyme where's that as you enter the city through the red light district you come upon a bridge the rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. <laughs> 